Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make this living room render. These are some of my renders of the model using Lumion 8. Okay, let's go to Lumion. This is the model from Arc Interiors Volume 15 Number 6. This is a very good model. The first step, the first step is to apply material. The 3D model comes with material. So I only need to adjust the glossiness, reflectivity and other. For example, this wood material it comes from the arc interior and I let the Lumion 8 to create the normal maps I only adjust these parameters for gloss I keep the gloss at 1.0 I reduce the reflectivity and the relief I set to 0 0.7 and also I adjust the edges to, 1 point, uh, to 0 0.1 sorry and also for the uh, leather it also comes from the model itself normal maps from Lumion and I set the glossiness at 1 reflectivity at 0 0.8 relief at 0 0.7 uh, 6 and I add a little bit weathering and also edges okay so it's also the same for this material and the uh, plant material okay. after that I add some objects for decoration such as these books This book is from Lumion Library. This book also. And also this magazine. And also these plants. Okay. I also edit from my library too, such as these clocks. These frames, either, and this book, this open book, and also this magazines. I also add some uh, objects like carpet and the cloud. The carpet is using landscape library or grass material. And I made the cloth in Blender using cloud modifier and export it as color file. You can see right here. Look. This is the cloth. Okay.
The next step is to set the lighting. This process is rather trial and error. So first I only use sun light and try to render. how the renders come out from this render you can see that uh, I need some lights brighten up some area for example this area on the corner and from the left side it's too dark over here so let's open the image yeah just what I said earlier I need this area to be brighten to be brighter and also this area so Let's go back to Lumion. So I edit. Sorry. Edit light over here. This area light. Over here. Set the uh, small window here. And the setting is the brightness is 16.1 and the color is white I also add lights over here on the left side the same setting as the previous right color is white and the brightness is at 16.1 and the last light is on the right side over here also from the outside of the window glass yeah. also white color and I increase the brightness to 75 because I wanted this light to act as sun yeah because I said the sun comes from the right side maybe some of you wonder why I did not increase the sun brightness because I already set the sun let's see the sun here at 0 0.5 I think it's quite bright and I want to keep the shadow to be soft and looks natural okay and uh, let's see the setting of the effect I always start with overcast style whether I'm doing exterior or interior and also I like to use two-point perspective make the vertical lines vertical if I turn off this effect you see that the la the vertical lines begin to converge to one point somewhere over here so it will become a three point perspective so I like to this two point perspective but for some scene that camera was looking down I turn off the effect like this scene for example this scene for example I turn off this effect because if I turn on the effect you'll see this become awkward this is become absurd so for this scene when the camera cam uh, look, looking down just turn off this effect
Okay, let's go to the next uh, effect. The fog. I don't need uh, this effect for interior, so I turn off the effect. And for sky and clouds, I uh, I turn off the uh, low clouds and high clouds to zero. So it will let the sun light uh, to comes in 100%, no barrier from the clouds, and I let the other setting at default, and then the sun, sun height. I set to 0.2 so it will make the sun at around 2 or 3 hours before sunset and the he sun heading is for, from the right side set sun brightness at 0.5 let's go to the next effect I let the sharpen and exposure at default setting. Color correction. Color correction is very important because this effect will affect the whole appearance of your image. Yeah. So I and um, I set the temperature just a little bit warm at one point uh, sorry at 0 0.1 uh, the default setting is uh, too warm at 0 0.4 so I decrease to 0 0.1 and set the tint to 0 at the brightness to add to 0 0.8 from 0 0.7 and I add the contrast just a little bit and let the other at default reflection I set the reflection for the floor and for the glass windows over here hyperlight default skylight just turn on these two settings and render quality to high shadow chromatic aberration and depth of fill at default setting okay so let's start the render You can see that this image is a little or a little bright brighter than uh, the first render when I only use sunlight it looks better Okay, the render is finished. Let's see the result. Okay, if we compare with the first render, look, this is too dark. And okay, this is uh, very nice. But I see this image is a little bit underexposed. But I prefer this way because on the highlight area. It still save a lot of information and this is this image is very easy to repair using image editor so let's uh, take this image to uh, Photoshop okay 
I only show you the simple, the simplest way, yeah, the most simple way, the very easy way, just using camera filter, and just click auto, and voila, it's done. It's done. Before, after, before, after, okay. If you want to adjust more, it's up to you. But for this tutorial, uh, for me, this is enough. So, this is how I render the image. I hope this video can give you an inspiration for your render. If you like this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell. Next video, I will show you how I make an animation video of this model. See ya!